found a lot of great materials in the junkyard. We got an awesome target location to build the cylindrical snare trap. Levi found the vertical log pile up here just over the hill. We've got heavy foot traffic. There's all kinds of trail and sign through here. Something has been using this area regularly. This is the spot we're going to get the Bushman. Can't you move any faster? Hey, come on now. At least I know how to screw. <laughs> there it is, man. Yahtzee. We got the exterior framework set up and secure. Now we got to get the winches in place, secured to the trees, get the snare system set up, and get her finished up. The cylinder is in place, the boards are up, the snares are set, the winches are in place. There's no way this Bushman's getting out. Yeah, there he is. We're getting ready to meet with our next eyewitness, Eugene. How's it going, brother? And he's had a personal encounter with the Bushman. So what are you doing out here, brother? Today, right yeah. now, I'm waiting for you guys. Well, we're here. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's pretty evident, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you live out here? Yeah, I got a homestead. Me and the dog just hunt fish, trap some in the winter, got to get away from it all, live out in Alaska. Peace and quiet until we showed up, huh? Yeah, yeah, three people. Yeah. This is yeah, quadrupling the population. Yeah. So. so tell us what happened out here. I was out here getting wood with the dog and just kind of finished up for the day. It's about three weeks ago, give or take. And all of a sudden, dog just started going crazy. Just ate crazy, running around, barking, whining, like not a bear growl, not a bear bark, like something totally different, and took off, just mm. bolted. Like, huh. Kind of let me know something was up, and then left. I stayed. Right. And I kind of walked up the trail here, around the corner, and you can see where this old old road goes. Right. And the burl on that birch right there. I was standing right next to it. All of a sudden, maybe 50 feet off in the trees, something stood up. Just walking by slowly up this little ridge. So you seen this thing? Oh yeah, big, huge, dark brown, like walking upright. Grabbed my camera phone. Pulled it out, got a video of this thing. You got a you video? video? Yeah, yeah. Oh, go. <laughs> You guys want to see it? Hey, oh, hell yeah. yeah. All right, check this out, guys. Let's check see. this out. Whoa. Look at that big We're in Buffalo Haven, and we're going after Central Alaska's Bigfoot. The Bushman. Legend has it the Bushman has been around for over 500 years. It was first seen by the Native Americans, and it's still being spotted today. So you saying this thing? Oh yeah, got a video of this thing. You got a, you video? Got a video? Yeah, yeah. You guys want to see it? Hell yeah. 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 Eugene has a video of this Bushman, and I want to see what he's got. Whoa! Look at that big. Oh, look at that. That's Isn't huge, man. Nice. Son of a bitch. Sorry, it's shaking. I was a little yeah. freaked well, out. Well, it's understandable. But... Yeah, I'd be shaking, too. This thing was really intimidating. He wasn't trying to run off. No. Yeah. Well, Eugene, that's a good video, I tell you what. You mind taking us out there where you took that video? Yep, it's just right over here. Well, let's go check let's it out. Go. Let's go. Yeah. This sucker was big. It was intimidating. It was scary. This is not a creature that I want to meet in an alley somewhere. It was right up in here. I could, I'm standing right by this birch. See that birch that's leaning over right. down there? Yeah. 100 feet, 80 feet. And he just walked up to the one side of it and kind of looked at me and then ducked underneath, walked off. You know, seeing that tree right there really gives you a size comparison. Yep. This creature is huge. I would have been terrified seeing that thing myself. A week or so before this, I had noticed a couple caribou carcasses laying around. And they were torn up by something I've never seen before. A caribou's a big animal, hundreds know, of pounds. Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't toss that around. So what do you think about using caribou for bait? You know, I think that's a game plan. Yeah. We're in the right area. I think this is a good spot. We have sightings out here at the sawmill. Right. We've got that vertical log pile out there. With your video, that just puts us hotter on the trail. There has been three incidents in this area alone. It's time for me to get my team together and go after this beast. Brett and I have been jamming the last couple of days. We got the trap complete. Now we're just waiting on Levi to get here. He's going to bring his wireless system in. We're going to get it hooked up, ops check the trap, get ready to catch the Bushman. Wow! Look at that! Oh, yeah. What's up, fellas? Wow, what the hell is that contraption? The trap looks awesome. Rhett and Todd did a great job on it. It looks totally sturdy. They anchored it to really heavy-duty trees. I have utmost confidence this is going to work. The 
the Bushman's gonna climb in. Okay. We're gonna have some bait in there. Got four winches hooked up to the big trees right here. Levi's gonna have his mystical magical wireless trigger system uh, set up. Nice. So we'll be free and clear. Right. As soon as the Bushman climbs down in there, four 5,000 plus pound winches gonna hook this guy up. We're gonna oh. get him tonight. <laughs> We're gonna have us a butch man! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, let's rig this thing up. Go. Cool. Right. Right, let's, let's do, do it. this. We have a wireless triggering system that's gonna allow us to remotely actuate all of those cinches. The pressure plate is weight sensitive. So as soon as the Bushman puts a foot on it, it's gonna activate my wireless system. The wireless system's gonna start the winches, and the winches are gonna cinch him up right inside that column. The transmitter and receiver are all set up. All we gotta do is test the pressure plate, make sure it'll actuate the system, and get us a Bushman. All right, fellas, this is the weight drum we're going to test it with. You see the pressure plate on the bottom? The trap is badass. When the Bushman gets inside that trap tonight, he's got four snares connected to him. He's not going anywhere. Let's get this thing down in here, make sure the wireless system works. Let's get us the Bushman. Right Let's go. Out. Come on down. Do it. Down. Coming down. All right, easy, easy. That good? Hey, guys, this is on the ground, and it hasn't gone off. Pressure plate's not working. I'm not getting any signal at the transmitter, nothing. The wireless transmitter and the wireless receiver seem to be working fine, but the pressure plate's a failure. So we got to figure out a way to get around that. We can still trigger it because the transmitter is working and the receiver's working. So why don't we do it by hand? Why don't we do it manually? That could work. Once we know the Bushman's in there, somebody can manually set it off. Sound good? Yeah, yeah so we can still plan. get the Bushman. Still make it happen. As long as we can get him. That's right. We're going to fire this thing off manually. It's going to put us in a little bit closer, but that's just half the fun. All right, guys, let's fire this thing up. Ready, Levi? All right, here we go. Hit it. Three, two, one. Yeah! yeah. 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 That's the yeah. yeah. way to go, Levi. <laughs> the trap functioned perfectly. I'll be the man hiding in the blind. It's my design. It's my trap. I have to be there. I think a blind right here will work out just right. Let's do it. Tonight, my job is to hide in a blind we've set up nearby the trap. As soon as the Bushman climbs in the snare system, I activate it with the radio remote. We got him. I got me, boys! <laughs> got right. me. Thank goodness we got in there. Check this so out, man. Caribou meat. Nice. Meat. Nice. nice. <laughs> the one eyewitness said he saw a Bushman feeding on caribou. This ought to be perfect. We got the trap in the perfect location. We got the perfect bait. Uh, yay! Oh. <laughs> We're just waiting for the sun to go down. We're going to do a midnight hunt. We're going to catch Bushman tonight.